Hi everyone, come on in. It's another session of Art with Ruiz. This video is a review of DeForce Trash the Rome and also a tutorial on DeForce animation and rendering. First, let's take a look at the actual product description. So this is Trash the Rome DeForce prop set. Trash any room you want in any set you have with this large collection of 51 individual props. Well, the key things to note here is DeForce enable clothing and decals. So there are a lot of objects which are not DeForce enable. Uh, for instance, all this um, food can, the fork and spoon, the pan. So if you want to have a, a very organic kind of mess, you cannot just drop it on the table and have it bounce ar around. You have to manually hand post each of it one by one. Yeah, so just let's take a look at some of the things that cannot be simulated. So it's the box. Uh, this is the trash bag, a pizza box, Chinese food. Piece of paper. There's a stain over here. Let me turn it around. So if I were to animate it. So all, all these things won't drop except a uh, piece of the, the stains. So my conclusion is um, this set is nothing extraordinary. We are still a long way to go from having the ability of say packing all this garbage into a large can and then spilling it out from a bigger container without having all these objects exploding because it is very easy for you to collide with each other and even a one pixel intersection will cause it to explode so anyway i make the best of what is available here just to make a quick scene i call it cloudy with a chance of pants Yeah, let's just take a tour around so um the background is a newsroom set i have a nice model presenter sitting here in the middle um, two clothing item floating in the air and one more shirt that is suspended on a 2d plane over here so I did this because uh, this is a trick to have the sh this third item to drop later like a delay timer. So I created a 2D plane that is just large enough to support the shirt and have it slide backwards and let it fall on top the presenter. So it, it took me quite a few attempts to get this right, make some mistake that can cause some explosion. Um, let's take a quick look at something I recorded <coughs> earlier. Hey guys, I'm just showing you some of the default attempt that you see that more delayed yeah. manner. Okay, so as you can see oh. that it just go crazy in like less than five frames. So you can see that over here, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Los imbéciles que salen Actually, a golpear a la gente en la calle son unos gángsters que tienen la protección de la policía y si la gente... Experiment 2. Ok, so for experiment number 2. Well, I have a bit more success than earlier. Um, the plane that, that I used this time is not changing. It should land on it. <laughs> yeah, this thing looks a bit weird because there is a, a null object here. Boom, all right. Okay, there you go. Fly, fly, fly. Let's take a closer look. 
Guys, yeah, it, water, time think. already hit the null and the uh, other shirt. Yeah, I sh it would have covered the face nicely, but boom, explosion. Sure. Okay, I'm going to try one more time without oh, the null object and see how it works. Mm, either that, or I, I just remove the second shirt. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, guys, end, sorry. Of, this is end of second station. experiment. So anyway, these are just some example of the failed attempts to animate it. Once I got it right, it looks like this. Starting from frame 45 onwards. So we come down. Get the first two piece land on frame 70 onwards so you can notice over here the panel starts to turn to the side and spill the third shirt to come down yeah I actually fall on the head quite a bit i tried to get it to wrap nicely wrap around the head but uh, the other few attempts caused some explosion as well so i just settle for this one Let's take a look at the completed render which I render around from frame 45 to around 140, 150. Yeah, let's just... One more time. So, that's it. Well, we are still a bit far away from really realistic objects which can bounce and turn like if you drop those uh, cardboard boxes. So right now only the clothing item works. Uh, as part of the, uh, this series, I have created two more partial video. One needs to describe um, the exact setting to get the render and, and the other is to explain how I modified the background from, the, from this default LED screen background to a customized one. So anyway, I hope this is entertaining and thanks for subscribing. Yeah, I will see you around.